Hey everyone, welcome to Dominic Source Screening Reviews, and if you can't tell by the excitement of my voice, we are about to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. A couple years in the waiting, I'm very, very excited for it, we're just going to jump right in. I, I started a new game, didn't get into it because it was like I was checking for DLC stuff, I was like, yeah, actually, let me roll back and do this story so far. So I've done the demo. Uh, both parts of it, so the Nibelheim and the exploration around Junon. So we'll get into that here in a minute, but let's go ahead and check this out. When there is so much to tell, where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it, Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako. Ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company. Who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could, rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. In Sector Eight, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we race toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited. The 
whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. So that's the same intro story so far that they give at the beginning of the demo. And I have the same issue with it. <laughs> it's well done, but it almost plays like a trailer in the sense that it gives you some information, but not really enough. <laughs> so like, here's the broadest of broad strokes and highlights of what happened in one. And it doesn't even really tell about what happened um, in intermission. You know, so, um, be that as it may, that's what we're getting. So, um, it already checked for these, and I'm getting all of these, so, you know, that is what it is. But just to go through it, um, bonus items are offered as thanks for playing various versions of the game. To get these, you gotta check your save data. So, it will check to see if you did the demo, which gives you the Koopo Charm and the Survival Set. Koopo Charm is, I believe, gives you more crafting material when you pick it up so something we'll get into in the game and survival set i think it's like almost like a resident evil style like set of potions like it gives you a handful of potions like here you go um excuse me for playing the first game um i won't actually check if i hit that again or is it gonna say like i already have it all <laughs> okay um, for playing the original game you get the leviathan summon and for doing intermission you get removal um, and then there's the Moogle, Moogle Trio, and the Magic Pot, I believe, for getting the digital deluxe version of the game. But those don't seem to be shown up here, because that's like a, just a straight up purchase. So, um, we're going to go straight with default. We're going to turn those off. Gonna, I saw this when I was kind of putzing around through the settings. I thought that was kind of cool, because like if you've been kicking butt... It's gonna get harder for you, but um, and then if you're you're getting your butt kicked, you know it'll become easier. Um, that's that's neat. I think that's really cool, and I think a lot of people are gonna like it. I'm just gonna stick with normal because um, I've always been of the belief that if I over level, that's because I want to do it and I want to kind of cruise through the rest. And if I don't level, that's on me, and I'll go back and level. Right? Or at that point, I'll, you know, like, you could change it at any time. So uh, we'll be active, and we're gonna get right into it. We're coming. Don't you think we're not? I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Yeah. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. Just part? Honestly? After the all the chaos? The rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. It's a little editorializing, dude. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It that helmet was not going to protect you from fall getting run over. The Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by really? the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. If Avalanche can control the weather, then we the are The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Ah, uh, Shinra news, huh? So like, we walked through the portal, right? Like, we're not here anymore, are we? There are still people who are, though, right? 
It's a cool shot. Yeah, because fate has changed in this timeline or reality. Or whatever the hell Nomura is writing these days. I think he's just a writer on this. I don't think he's the director, correct? I'm almost positive about that. So it looks like they make it here this time, so in the Crisis Core playthrough, we'll know that that uh, Zack... It's Cloud Strife and Zack... Damn it, what's his last name? Doesn't matter. Uh, Zack dies. Uh, saving Cloud, more or less. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. So Multiple he never made it to a city. Uh, oh, you know what? I think that's a good... Boy, I think that tornado really did a number on the city. <laughs> Tornadoes will do that, my friend. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Or was it the other way around, maybe? Of course. As you can see. Oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. And it's a real hand. That's weird. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster so Highly dangerous. Buster. So, because of this, is an ex -soldier, armed with a buster sword. they wouldn't be going after Zack. Back over here. Get on board. So, there the was some controversy about what was going on here. Because, like, clearly, that's Barrett and Tifa. Like, they're not- what's that? Red 13? Well, clearly, they're- I mean, who knows? Maybe they could be dead and it's all a dream. Targets have been secured! We are expelling via Hilo now! Move it! We're taking off! And there's Aerith. What? Hey! Turn that off! Uh, First Amendment? Oh, they're gonna kill that reporter now. There's no First Amendment in this world. Jesus. So what I'm saying at the end of... Uh, Crisis Core when they're tracking down. Oh god. Hi. It's fine, don't worry about it. You didn't see nothing. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Clown's not like. I mean, at least he isn't like wielding Buster at this moment. Aerith! Are you serious, dude? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> Red is up and running. I'm... I'm confused. I don't know what I'm missing here. We start the game as Zack. That's its own thing, I'm sure. Uh, can we... No, we can't do nothing. That's fine. Can I attack? I can't literally do anything. Okay, that's fine. I can only run. Okay, so it's over there. But since I can't interact with anything... The funny thing is that they're not talking about Zack, which in all reality they, sh they really should be, but like... Um... Okay. What am I- what am I missing here? I'm thinking too hard about it. I could probably just climb over this. Yeah, okay. Just thinking too hard about it. Jesus, I mean, maybe he dies here. <laughs> Get away from her! He's got oh, a bluster sword! Terrorist. <laughs> and that combo charge is pretty decent. Hey. You coming after me? 
because we didn't have that huge fight at the, I keep trying to say we didn't have that huge fight at the end of Crisis Core because everybody was here dealing with this bullshit. I mean, you were gonna use- what- what am I doing? Oh my god. Heads up! Okay. Shit, indeed. I don't know how to deal with them. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a command menu on this thing. Sorry. What was he aiming at? Yo, babe. Is he dead? Shit. We gotta go. This is how you die in reality, real life, whatever you want to call it, the other world. Where's the ancient? Shit. They're gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. Oh, it's a good thing she's not wearing a bright pink fucking dress. Stop. Is oh, that great in Midgard? <laughs> but I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Bleh. Sorry. Probably pick that up. Did he notice? <laughs> hmm. Questions, questions. I have questions, everyone. We've got the time. Want to tell oh. the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. So this is the demo. Me? For about, yeah. I'm assuming probably no the next problem. two hours. This it's is the demo. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work or soldiers back then. And what little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe I should have opened this before I started. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be quiet. Yep, I love that. It's called the same thing in the demo. It's really coming down, huh? Hey, man. Feeling any better? Oh, good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. It's pretty nifty camera work. What we see here in a second. It's the way he moved. Hey. Rain it in. Prevented us from ever seeing Sephiroth just chilling there. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Mutai. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. So I can join the war and get well, fucking traumatized. Our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. 
Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our twelve! Let's go. Aye, aye, Capitan. Look at that. Straight up style. Bloodless, but efficient. Now Cloud gets his opportunity and... Well... <laughs> Wait in the truck. No way! I got this! I don't know why it made me think of it, but from what I saw, like a quick glimpse earlier today, that like getting all the trophies in this game could take like 200 hours because you have to play the game like multiple times and then like on hard mode and you have to complete all the chapters and 100% everything. And I'm like, oh my god, I need to verify that. But it sounded outrageous. Some people will love it, I will not, and I will not be doing it. So, Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? So I'm confused yeah. now. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Because we didn't... I don't think we got like a present day or a five years ago type thing with... Zack. It's always been weird to me. Like you see Nibelheim up on that uh, arch gate. You know, the, the archway into the home, town. And, and home, that's, right? you know, Arabic lettering. And Tell me, how does it feel? Like the rest of the words I in this entire no home, game, so I wouldn't know. Like, uh, are some weird scribble you thing. Still got parents though, right? Look how young Baby Cloud looks. A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh, there, Genova, like from the Shinra building. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come you on. You brought it up. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Thanks, boss. Let's we'll see if any of my high school crushes are still here. Okay, so you can open the menu, and you can roll and, and dodge a circle. So this is here now. So yeah, so I'm level forty here, and I don't think I'm going to be. Yeah, it's just like photo mode. Like, I, don't, I don't care about photo mode. I doubt I'm going to be able to mess with anything, but you could see that we we have like some level one stuff going on here. We have fire, we have ice, and we have heal. Or, you know, cure. So. Okay. So, this is all fairly. I feel like there was, there was at least one or two chests around here. They are? There's two Okay, so there's at least one here. I know there's one up top. 
We all have these mega potions. Okay. I'm kind of tempted, considering I just played this, like, the other day. Kind of wishing maybe I had recorded all that. You know, it's funny, I don't even know if I used any of those mega potions. Okay, so there's one up here. And I think there's, I think there's one more somewhere, but I, it honestly doesn't matter. So let's see what the, the highlights were again. Um, these kids being widows. So everybody, everyone wants to talk to Sephiroth who's chilling in the church. Sephiroth's in there right now. And that's a church. I don't. Yeah. You know, whatever this municipal building. I think it's the mayor's house. Everyone, please. Um. There might be one more. The survey team is. I feel like there's, ma'am and ma'am. Okay, so the lighting still just as screws it was in the demo. There's going to be a lot of that we're going to notice in the next two hours. And there's all these cats, which might do something this time around. Didn't do anything last time. Okay, we we could try to leave Nibelheim. They'll tell us not to, so I'm not going to worry about it. So one thing I did check before other things... And it you know, tells you how to use your map. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. He was quite literally a child soldier. He was a teen, I will admit, but he was 14 when he... He joined up with Soldier and became wanted to become first and joined this war against Wu Tai and Okay, Clouds out his contemplative moment. So that that next. Goodness. Is that you, Cloud? It is. Hello. We're gonna talk to this awesome dude. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. I, I'm just like, could you not? Sir, consent. Okay, um... I mean, if you want to... Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Uh, I'm fine. I do, like, Who flips and shit in the air. I'm good. We're not gonna go Super Saiyan 1.5 over here like trunks. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. That's too many. There's like a hundred too many. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. I do know her. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? I love the little asides. I didn't know. He was a dumb 16-year-old boy. I'd be interested to see how one of Sorry, he was a 16-year-old boy. So I, you, you can like talk you to him. Need my help, just say the word. And I kind of thought like we would have training with I've him or been something. Working on but some new techniques. It did it, it's nothing. We can talk to her though. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. You'll find him just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. Becoming a soldier will do that. We're not going to go upstairs just yet. What? Really? Oh, the village is truly in your debt. Huh? 
You went to my place? I did. I figured you might be there. I'm sure a good boy likes everyone. I don't think there might have been something in here. I actually feel like there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Super yeah. original. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Uh, a lot of booze everywhere I noticed last time around. Set upstairs. Uh, so we're gonna go into this room first. I think there's a chest. Yeah, like there's a chest in one of the rooms, but the other room is Tifa's room. So, bottle of ether, which is super nice. You went into my room? Absolutely not. Why would I ever do that? You went through my stuff? Never. I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! <laughs> Still just as funny. Okay, so here's this... I'm gonna take the move all. Oh, I thought that was a thing right there. So here's... Like, here's the minigame, right? Did you actually play it? I did, or I will. I don't think I'll be doing a whole lot of these, because it's actually surprisingly tough. And you guys will see here in a second. Okay, so we're just going to start, right? How does one go about starting this again? Did I not actually pick up the song? Hold on. Look at this. Look how much you can, like, adjust this. It's nonsense. Get out of here. Um, I'm confused. There was a song here in the demo. It might not be here. Maybe they changed it. Um, you could have just left it alone, you know. <sighs> what were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. That's, that's so mean. So... <laughs> There was, <laughs> there was, um, there was a song here you could play in the demo, and it doesn't seem to be here, and if you got, like, I got a B, and I just was like, it's fine, I got a B score, is what I mean, um, and, but at least I got the sheet music that time around, I can't, like, there's... And they gave me, they're like, oh, you're actually quite good at this. Who knew, right? Can you imagine me having to do, like, any of this nonsense? Okay, we're done. End your performance. But they gave me nice notes. They were like, oh, that was that was really well done. Like, that's awesome. And this time they're like, you suck. And it keeps looking like I'm floating here. That's so weird. Because it was right there, like when I did the piano, it it picked it up. So the game's the game just actively fucking with me. I don't think I can zoom in. Okay, well, that was that was there for, for flavor text. With one more thing, I think we're gonna I think we can do it now. Don't make any trouble for yeah, here it is. Home sweet home. And then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. That camera, though. You stare at that materia. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. And they don't give you any leave at all? First it's time. nonsense. You were 14. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Go 
Cloud, is that you? Well, we know where we get our flaxen hair hey. color from. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. I'm 16. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. Says the 16-year-old. Sure, girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. I don't know if That's Tifa and or Arif is you, I'd say. older than I am. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. We don't even get to go in. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our houses are our reasons, uh, literally touching. Most of them had to do with you. Barrett. We were like 14, you need to stop. Notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. In the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. When we get a little bit further up the stairs, we enter a cutscene. So, what you looking at? This landscape, huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. Much right. like in Crisis Core, we'll it is weird to see him be, like, congenial. You know? <laughs> like, hey, pat on the shoulder, get some sleep. Night. That? I mean, we all know it devolves in a minute, but... I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited. Too... nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. What happened the last time she that is an ominous-ass looking mountain. She's old enough to make her own decisions. She's twelve. She's super old enough. There's a joke to be made in there that I'm not gonna make, but you know. We leave once our guide arrives. Lucky you got here before yes, her. Uh, Brian, Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter is dead. I don't understand the argument here. Like, don't have to do this. the dad could have just I'm gone. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa, you're our guide. I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job. She won't. Come on. The what audaciousness of, of, of this today. asshole. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It mean a lot to us. Our little photo town. Come on. Photo. One photo. On. Where's the harm in that? That's the rest of the game installed. <laughs> There? <laughs> this game's enormous. It's like 150 gigs. Thanks. 
Say cheese. So right was the like sun directly behind us. One more. Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. Before reality. God damn that mountain. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Yeah, nothing like the suffocating miasma that is Midgar. Hey, we can run now, so. And square to attack out in the oven. So if we try to go that way, we will go that way eventually. If I try to go that way, it will force slow me to walk, so. I am... Oh, the creative director. Okay. Because I am... I don't understand how there's not like... You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none that's such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> you just wait, Tifa. I think you mean business trips, which no, are no not fun so. at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. I think there was news that they weren't going to be doing any more Final Fantasies, but I think maybe they'll do part three of this, because, you know, this is a trilogy. Um, so the le I know I got stuck in the demo once because I was just looking at a log instead of pushing forward on it. I'm like, why can't I jump? <laughs> what is happening? Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Shut up, Tifa. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But, but I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so. You'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Guess you really are the best there is. Um, but now I'm like I'm confused about like timeline shenanigans like merging. Because I kind of assumed it was gonna be like we were just in a new timeline altogether, and that was gonna be how how we got away from you know having to stick to the main story. But I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I'm. I know we haven't gotten the information. We're like an hour, forty-two minutes since I started recording. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Uh, square data. You're done. See ya. Brace yourself. Nice. Two trophies at once. That was awesome. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> There's probably a hundred of them. It's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? If I'm not trying to show off or anything. Don't mind if I do. How charming he is, my god. Um. No. Because I, I kind of wish I'd kept the recording, but this this is fine. We could have kind of just skipped ahead. That's weird that it wanted me to skip it there. Uh, so initiating combat, if you get to them and you, you hit them with square first, you get a little boost to your ATB bar. Um, it's... Take it away. I didn't get it, but it's, it's... Like, it's fine. And then there's commands, yeah. So we're gonna braver. Get that one out. Is there one more? I, I killed someone else behind Let's me. I gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Getting a little bit of a workout in, you know? But we will kind of s not skim through this, but we're we're gonna move faster than I did like the, the first time around. It'd be nice to actually finish the whole thing in two hours. Is it is Mako. Oh. You can do better than that, can't you? 
Just you watch. So here's where we get to learn block and just how awful I am at it. Okay, that I mean, because I knew that was coming in, but like. I don't think I can hit him. No. And I, did, I didn't have enough time to block. You're done. Well, that's that. And away we go. Okay, so I think there's more air. Uh. All yours. You know what to do, pal. Whoa! Ow. I don't want this guy to like be around. Brace yourself. Man. Bye. Okay. Oh no. What a hero. Well done, Trooper. Thank you. Welcome now. I got the rest. Someone's feeling a little cocky. Yep. No, you don't. I'm not trying to escape. Let's I can't. I didn't have this much trouble. Oh wow! Can I get down, please? See ya. No, you don't. Honestly, I had way easier time with the demo, and I didn't have. I don't think I had that ability, like to to do like a dodge and then do that. I need a cure. We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. Goddamn the squats. You better. Cool. See you at the reactor. And you can swap materia. He gives me materia, right? I don't know. I'm not worried about that tutorial. Uh, so, yeah. So I was just telling you, the more powerful the materia, the, or the more you level it up, the more powerful it becomes. Obviously, fire to Fira and then the Faraga and all that good jazz. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, he gave me a Sass. So I'm going to equip it. I'm not going to do anything with it, and I'll probably swap it out later. But it's there just to show you all how to do that. I need to heal. I think I'm just going to straight up heal right now. I'll do another one. Okay. Ah, I got first strike. So yeah, that's switching modes. This was from the original game. You can go uh, operator mode, which is the the balance, quick hit type thing, and then punisher mode, which does a bunch of damage. Is this the fight you want? I don't know if I'm gonna get him. Brace yourself. I say, that one felt that. pretty good. Fucking awesome. That's how it should be going. Uh, I thought there was stuff here. Maybe not. Doesn't really matter. The problem is, like, I have as Cloud, like, I'm not meant to be doing the fighting, you know, or the, the, like, aerial fighting, you know, like... 
I don't remember having that last time, but maybe I just didn't. You're done. See ya. I'm curious. Kill. Oh, that's the board. Let's finish this. Bye. Well, that's that. Okay, some things are here. Hmm, MP, nice. Mako shards is still a thing. I think there's at least one more fight before we have to. I didn't see these last time. Like that. Mixed high potions give you both. Uh, MP and health, which is nice. So you try to go in here and it's like, nah, uh, nah, bro, can't go in there. So you can come all the way over here instead. And we pick this up. Maybe. So we've got wind materia, which we will equip. Always nice to have everything, though. You know, nothing quite beats uh, Arrow from hey, Kingdom Hearts 1. So that bridge is just, it's cut off. Like, it, it's crumbled and collapsed at this point. It's a dead end! Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago! Come on back, okay? We'll okay. do... Okay, cool. We both I did. Nothing in it. Yep, and that's just seeing these little markers, which we saw one uh, back in Nibelheim on the water tower. Just context-sensitive clues to be like, hey, go here. Very slow loading screen, basically. I like that everyone is already over here. It's kind of bullshit. But... This way. I gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Hey, I saw this too. Yes. Kind of bullshit. Just getting shot on over here. Don't think there's anything here. They're gonna do their thing. There might be some things are interactable. Oh, they're not. Get into the... See, now this is what I was talking about, the lighting shit. Like, that seems fairly consistent. And I thought it would be just a demo thing. But it seems to be just part of the engine. So here's another materia. Oh, this was nice, this was nice. Okay, so I didn't think we would get this in the main game. It seemed a little overpowered, to be honest. So... I want to move you here, and then I think what I'm going to do is put it here for now. So this level boost material is maxed out, and it gives you an increased level to the link material by one. So I have it equipped to ice right now, so right now, like, instead of having just use Blizzard, I can use Blizzara. Um, just straight up. It's, it's awesome. Um, but again, we are playing a flashback at the moment, so... It'll load them out of the screen, I guess. Please move. Another mega potion. How's my health? There we go. What do we have over yonder? Super putty monster. I need to do it right. Yeah, there you go. Brace yourself. Steady. 
No shot. Whoa. That may go well. It's just a hell of a lot easier if I can get that going, you know? Right, then I can be braver. I really should just be attacking them. I'm, I'm trying too hard to, to block them. Uh. Piece of cake. Man, a screamer is dead. We can. We're supposed to go up the stairs, but there's the side of. Damn it. Bottle of ether, which is nice. I don't think there's anything else here. You can go look down here if you want to, but it's more class. The reactor may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of gas all over the map. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get muck poisoning. So it took me a minute to figure this out last time, and I felt real dumb. I was like, why can't I figure this out? We you move this stupid machine. Reduced by 20%. It just seems so inefficient. <laughs> like, why would this be the thing? And you have to, like, pull it up against the cords. It's silly. No Elevator access granted. No, I don't think there's anything over there, so we're leaving. Again, even if there were things, this is all flashback shit, so I don't think any of it's gonna carry over with me to to calm when the story's done. I think is it here? Can't get back there, I tried. Maybe not here. Oh. Uh, I feel like there was something here. Other than a fight. <laughs> Come on. Maybe no fight. That's okay. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. So this is idiotic. So if it were me, you know what? We're gonna test something. I'm very curious. She's gonna. No, she's gonna. She's not gonna stop. So, like, could she make it over all by herself? Or is she gonna hit, like, a wall? What is she doing? I wish I could zoom in. That's fine. So, she did hit a wall. Okay, so the gamers, the <laughs> developers thought of that. Because the stupid idea of, of us all walking across this pretty bridge all at once. Well, I mean, in all fairness. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't our fat asses, it was goddamn lightning. Are you okay? Not really! Not a great time to ask that question. What are you- So I'm also a little confused with what I'm watching here. Cause see, it looks like Sephiroth just stands up. Like he made it, I guess he made it to the bank. But like, so who's walking? Who's walking? Right there. And I understand it's fast. You know, the current is moving. Um, but both Cloud and Sephiroth are fine. Wow, 
Oh, you can't save everyone. But see, like, that's my, like... I guess, like, it just, it doesn't make a whole hell of a sense. Maybe because they're soldier, you know, that, that I'm going to account that and, and, and chalk it up to them being juiced up <laughs> on Mako. So where's grunt number two? Damn. If only I knew his name. He's in Fate's hands now. Hmm. Cryptic. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Oh, we're getting paid to do a job, lady. Child. Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. We're gonna bang. That's awesome. And the music's a little too light for the situation. We just had someone die, but... So the big thing here- oh, okay, never mind. it's climbing, it's very- <laughs> and it'll never not be called The Last of Us Yellow. Like, it should just be called that from now on. Um, I don't think I can climb any faster. Alright, it's all just kind of left thumbstick. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so it's gonna tell me about this bench. We remember these from the first game. I also just want to pick this up. I forget what this is. HP up. We're actually, we're gonna. Oops, one thing. That's the map. We haven't actually looked at that yet, but it's fine. Uh, I can't mess with Sephiroth's stuff, but he has Masamune, uh, Resplendent Bracer, and Fortitude Ring, and it won't. I don't think I can change it. Yeah, it won't let me change. But all this shit is maxed out, and I actually had to use this last time <laughs> in the demo. Because um, uh, Cloud had died, and I was like, oh shit. So he's maxed out. Like, he can do a Rise, Kiraga, Aroga. Um, this Magnify is kind of cool. Because it expands the range of what does he have equipped to it? Uh, a rogue up. So potency is res res restricted, but it, it can hit multiple people, so it's a balance. Um, uh, Faraga, magnify again on lightning, so we can do Thundaga, and then magnify on Blazaga. So he's pretty kick ass. Uh, but what I was actually wanting to do is this. And we just got HP up, so I don't need a sass, I don't care about it. Uh, so we'll get HP going up, and then we will heal. Ah, uh, and then we fight. Off you go. Oh, I'm the party leader, that's right. So now you can hit up or down, or left or right to switch characters. And I didn't really mess around with the L2 or R2 to issue the commands. And then it's just gonna be like, so here's his thing. So you can charge up, just like with anybody else. So he's pretty awesome. Uh, combat sense, because I do want to change it back to the cloud. Not that I don't want to mess with Sephiroth, but he actually, like, I'll swap between the two of them here shortly. I don't think I can do it here. Yeah, no, I think I need to do it in, in, in combat. So look at this <sighs> fucked up little area. There's no way around it either. You just have to go through. <laughs> You'll be fine, calm down. Let's not waste any time. Mako, this thick is dangerous. God, I hate them being up in the air. Now. Let's finish this. God. Okay, I, I got real lucky with that. <laughs> Let's hurry. Nice, big screen. Then I missed there, so <laughs> all's fair. And what do we got here? I keep mm, playing different games lately. 
Warp of Empowerment. I actually forget what that is. And we'll get into why once we're done with this section. Um, I'm just going to click on this. What is this? Oh, that actually proved pretty useful to some effect. You know what? No, that's probably unnecessary to, to put that there. That's fine. It's all the same. The thing is, I have no idea what the, the boss of this area is weak to, so it doesn't particularly matter. Shit, I forget where we're going. And I got lost last time, too. Just a minute. I think it's this way. Yeah, because you don't have to go that way to like pick up the materia. <sighs> A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My Stop dad. being an eco-terrorist. And the mayor, if you must know. Communist, all of them. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? It's just like oil. It'll always be there. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've so can I wondered, use, like, Plazaga with it, or...? How does Materia let you cast spells, exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm. Pretty face. Big dick. I don't know what you want me to tell you, Safi. To put it simply, the knowledge of the Ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. Thanks, Cloud, for that bout of wisdom. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man. But him. Not so much. He is anything but. <laughs> we should press on. You know, the Mako poisoning and whatnot. So I do know I'm making some time, because that I think took me about an hour to get to last time. So we had everything to start with. Okay, so I see this asshole. Oh, Jesus. My head. Do. I don't know what that was for, but that's just a fucking shit angle. Steady. Come on. Get him. Stand back. On you. Oh, uh, what can he do? I forgot. We're gonna use one of these. Heal the hell back up. So, yeah, those flying. I can't believe my blocks are so terrible, but the flying guys are really the, the bane of my existence in this build because I just. That's pretty. Um, because I just can't fight them effectively here. Because the, the, sh the one thing, the, the worst thing about the active time system in this game is that. Like, you have to build up even for spells and items, like, not just your ATV charge attacks. So, like, I can't just pop, like, Thundaga in the air, you know? Now we're talking. Quick. Did I Let's do this. Yeah. I think I'm still. Yeah, they, they, they paralyze. I got this. See ya. This way. So we didn't, we didn't get a good chance. God, I can't move. 
And then it shows like a real good showing of that, but they do straight up stun your ass. And I learned that from last time. Please climb. Thank you. So we'll take a look at this here in a second, but we actually get a better view up top, so. And I was really confused as to my perspective the first time I looked at it from like, is that just like a giant like mountain lake, which is totally a thing, you know? Oregon has a crater lake, you know? Gorgeous. Like, I think it's the deepest freshwater lake in the, at least in the country, maybe in the world. I might have hit weakness there. You're done. That That's was cool. That. Okay, so yeah, we get a much better view of it here. And I think, I think it's because we fell. You know, when we fell off the bridge, we went down to the, the river, right? And the river's gonna lead back down, but the river would also generally lead to some type of outlet. <laughs> so, that's pretty. And we're gonna go down and get that. I don't remember it being particularly great, but maybe. So you would think we would have learned <laughs> and we all don't need to be on this rickety ass little wood plank panel thing we're walking on, right? Look, you could see it crumpling just from me. I'm, I'm like a buck sixty, you know? Sephiroth is probably 200 pounds of mess, like muscle. Yeah. You do kind of have to angle it a little. That's the magnify. We don't have enough to like equip that too. I'd rather let's the magnify materia that Sephiroth has, um, and I'd rather have the the level up materia that we have equipped in like the one. I don't think we have more than one spot that we can actually double up on, right? Oh, we do. That, that's not true. We do. Switch back, press L1 when selecting a spell. Okay. You're fine, Diva. Calm down. Okay. Always. While Guardians are one, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of synergy skills. These abilities that do not consume ATV charges. The available skill differ depending on which characters you actively control. Um. Get him! Filling the stack. Yeah, so like it's, it's telling stuff like stagger and shit now. Like seriously. <laughs> Get him! Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Steady. I don't think I need to do that. I could probably do this. Let me kill him up. Stand back. Oh, it's staggered him. Let's finish this. And then we'll do this. It's all you. Stand back. Oh, that was quick. I might be able to kill him right here. That went a hell of a lot smoother than the first time I did it. And the first time I did it, uh, Cloud died. So. Uh, speaking of, though. I don't remember what that trouble materia is up there. Tough of Phoenix down. Which, you know, of course, Sephiroth dies, which, I mean, he might. Mega Potion. <laughs> Ow, that's like blocking bullshit. I, I have no need for that. Uh. I was like, the fuck did I just hear? So I think I might have understood during the demo. If you don't need to. This won't be the last. 
Um, I don't even think you need to hit them technically in that first strike circle. I think maybe you just have to square while it's while it's active, like before it fills. And more materia. So that's auto cast, and like I can't attach it to Sephiroth. So unless I make him my lead, and then I play like have Cloud be secondary, <laughs> which I get is probably a little of what they want you to do a little bit, but it would let you, to some degree, auto cast abilities. So, and so there's a big, um, your big boss fountain, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're getting relatively close. Oh, we have this room to do. Okay, so. Another Mako poisoned area. It's like, oh, we're gonna grab this, right? Can it will let me do it? It will. Okay. So the first time if you drag it out and you don't open this door and you try to drag it out that way, uh, the cord is too short. And it will tell you. It'll be like too short, too short. You have to drag it all the way back here. And it's about as fast as I can go. Ah shit, I'm dumb. I do have to do this, so okay, so I did I did fuck up a little bit. Speed run over, I'm sorry. After we start. I think it gets me just far enough out to do it. Also gas levels reduced by twenty percent. I'm just glad I remembered when I did. Like I know it's big and heavy, but my god. Thanks for your health, Tifa. Several. Whatever the fuck that guy's doing. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Oh, thanks, Tifa. She's like, I'll go open the door now, I guess. We're out here. I don't think elevators are a little more comfy with just four of us, I will say. Oh, there's the bench. Okay. Oh no, I found this last time. I was like, did I miss this? I didn't. I don't get equipment or anything, so yeah. My elixirs are nice, don't get me wrong. Um... there real quick. Another elixir, very nice. Everybody needs to move, please. Oh, it looks like I missed something down there. No, that might just be Mako. I'm curious now, shit. I can't see from this angle. Oh well, well. Uh, it's lost to fate now. Let's go ahead and heal up. Take a hot minute. <laughs> See that lighting? Okay. Here's okay, the boss. Head. Looks like a way out. Yeah, something like that. Wait. Huh? What? We go hide. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had. It thinks we're after material. Someone should tell it we're not. <laughs> be my guess. Uh, let's cast. Wait, wait. Try to keep your heart out. <laughs> Defense cloud. You need to bury your attacks. Yeah. Come on. I won't let you down. Uh, yeah, seizing claws. Gotta get the hell out of there. Time to kick it up a notch. And it grabbed me anyways. And so they have individual body parts, and it wants me to go, like, 
I'm trying. Rookies. Get me out of here. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, you know what we're gonna do real quick? I got this. <laughs> Sephiroth, take the lead. I won't let you down. God damn it again. You're in good hands. Damn it. Not again. Get it together. And now I'm getting like bombarded by fucking. Sephora! I owe you one. When we're done. On me. Doing, dude. Watch and learn. I got this. I got this. Oh, I'm like way the hell over there. Get him. Stand back. Stand back. More than halfway done. That thing needs to charge. Well, it might need to charge, you guys. You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. We're gonna have pretty babies. You know, if you weren't a psychopath. Probably a sociopath. I don't know. Uh, turn the table on the beast with a coordinated attack from Cloud and Sepho. Use your double helix. I keep forgetting about synergy abilities. Shit. Okay, so... I don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. Follow my lead. Copy. I don't... Ah! Oh, he's trying. Shit, that hurt. Um, I, I can't... Off. Little help? I got this. I think we fucked that up. Steady. Sephiroth. You're in good Take the lead. Hands. Stand back. I need to heal. Oh, synergy though. Wow. Shit. Sorry. I forgot about that. That's on me. Right. But now I can use it, so. That's what I was meant to do to, to get him off there so he didn't use try. Nice. It's all you. Oh shit. Are you? I won't let you down. Shit. Yep. Am I Watch dead? Yeah. Nope. Gotta be careful. Oh, you know what we could do? MP0? I don't understand why that's like a thing, but it's fine. Stand back. We all need to heal up a bit. Good. Oh, here we go. On me. Yes, sir. Did I stagger? Oh, it's pressure. I don't think I'll stagger till the end of this. Oh, uh, limit? Does somebody have a limit break? Stand back. Oh, Sephiroth has the limit break. Take the lead. 
I don't think I got to see this, like, outright. That went, oh, that went, that went smoother than the first time I did it. Still took a shit ton of energy, and I forgot about this energy ability. So, like, I fucked up that, um, that Mako, like, absorption of enemies trying. But, I do know I did better this time around, because on the second, uh, the first time I did it, he got two of those, like, uh, nice animations. Yeah, he went to, like, another area to get more Mako. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, my story's well, not done yet. He was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this. I don't think people shit. understand what the word evil Tell me means something sometimes. That'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> 